All right, so today we are good. What are we gonna do today? Burn ends. I've already done burn ends, like every burn end there is to do. No, hot dog burn ends. Who makes burn ends out of hot dogs? <laughs> That's what people on Facebook want. You guys are sick and twisted people, really. It's messed up, but if that's what you want, that's what we're gonna do. Hot dog burnt ends. I have no clue what I'm doing. We're gonna figure it out together. So if I was extra bougie, we'd make our own hot dogs from scratch. But it seems like a lot of work to do for hot dog burnt ends. So I went ahead and grabbed this little package of four Vienna beef franks. They're looking mighty plump and juicy. Guys, don't be a pervert either. Okay, I understand. Okay, I get it. I get the obvious joke here. Let's skip it. Let's be mature adults, all right? So obviously, the first thing you're gonna do is open up your hot dogs. You definitely can't cook them inside the package. Now, I chose these hot dogs because I wanted a high quality hot dog, and I didn't want a bunch of waste if these don't turn out good. Now, I'm sure you can tell by looking, I chose a very high-end pan. I would suggest you do the same, um, but any pan will do. Go ahead and drop your hot dogs down in there. Now, usually I don't use a binder, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some cooking spray here. We're gonna need something for the rub to stick to. Now, make sure you get a lot of rub on these things. Burn-ins are all about an overabundance of tenderness and flavor. So you're gonna wanna pack as much flavor as possible in here at every step. Now, we're gonna to wanna to create a crust on these. I think it'd probably be better to use a regular grill, but I'm a little too lazy to go do that whole swap out. I got the flat top right here, so we're gonna throw it on the flat top and we're gonna try and create a nice kind of crust with that rub on the outside. I think that that's gonna be essential moving forward. Now, while you got your hot dogs cooking, go ahead and turn your smoker up to about 250 degrees and let it get to tub. At some point, your hot dogs are gonna be voluptuous as possible. You're not gonna wanna just jam that little guy right down your gullet, no. You gotta hang on to it, there's still steps left. Now, go ahead and grab your hot dog and cut it into about inch to two inch pieces. I'd go closer to the two inch. Now, we're gonna really wanna flavor these out. We're gonna drop a whole stick of butter in, a handful of brown sugar, spread it out, make sure you get the whole pan covered. And of course, we're gonna pop the cork on a little bit of Skull and Mortar's Beach Bomb Barbecue Sauce, and we're gonna load it in here and really kinda slather it. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get a good sauce for this, because I think this is where the majority of the flavor is gonna come from. Now to make sure that we have enough moisture and sweetness, go ahead and give it a little splash of apple juice. Now, let's get those on the smoker. These have been on the smoker now for about an hour and a half, and you have got to look at these things. They look amazing. I've never seen a hot dog look so good. Now I do want to thicken up the sauce here, so I'm going to go ahead and toss some more of that skull and mortar barbecue sauce on. Now guys, I don't know how these are gonna taste, but they look amazing, they smell amazing. I'm actually starting to hold out a little hope here. Look, I don't know whose idea this was. Actually, let me Google this real quick. Looks like it was Hey Grill Hey, but uh, I thought this was gonna totally bomb and suck, but honestly, it looks pretty good. It's got a good candy, kind of candy coating to it there. Uh, they look super juicy. I, uh, see what happens. I'm actually kind of mad I like these so much. Wow, dude. This is probably the best. I didn't know a hot dog could taste this good. I mean, I like a good hot dog at the baseball games and, and whatnot, but this hot dog right here is probably the best hot dog I've ever had in my life. So if you're gonna ask me, should I make hot dog burn ends at home? It's easy, pretty cheap, and uh, it really tastes pretty freaking good. So if you guys like this video, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe and make sure to hit like and leave a comment down below. I read every single comment and I think I respond to all of them. 
it means a lot to me how fast this channel has grown and I really love doing it. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week with a brand new video.